Hey everybody, Mike here. Well, hey everybody, Mike here. Well, I hope you're having a great day so far. And uh, yeah, today we're doing a Maya video once again, Maya 2024. And in this video, I'm gonna address a question that I received from a subscriber. He has apparently uh, some difficulty seeing uh, certain contrast uh, elements uh, while modeling and was wondering whether colors could be changed. Now, in a video that I did a long time ago, I showed you guys how to change the background color, and that is by holding down the Alt key and then hitting the B for balloon, like so. And if you keep on hitting B, it will change. Now, that's pretty basic, but trust me when I say there's a lot more you can change, right? Let's say you want to change the color of your keyframe indicators, or you want to change the color of the text in your heads up display. How would you do that? Well, you're simply going to go up to Windows, you're going to go to Settings Preferences, and you're going to go to Color Settings. Now, if I, for example, want to change the keyframe indicator, I would go to my time slider. Right now, my keyframes are red. What if I want them to be, I don't know, green? Okay, let's give that a go. We're going to go and put something in the screen here. There you go. And I'm going to select it. I'm on frame one. I'm going to hit S on my keyboard and they have it a green keyframe easy right okay what else well let's go up here let's go to where did it go right here color settings um let's see we've got 3d views we've got heads up display this right here okay so what if i want the labels to be i don't know uh, Let's do red or something. Yeah, red. There you go. And then the values, I don't know, green. Just for fun, okay? You can change so many things. You have your animation tab. You have your time slider, your graph editor, your all of that. Dope sheet as well. And I actually think I'm going to do a video on dope sheets because I don't hear a lot of people talking about them. It's a pretty old school, but it's a very important thing to use. So let me know in the comments, right? So what else? Um, user defined. There are certain things that you can control yourself if you want to do that. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to share with you guys today. Like I said, very, very brief, very, very short. Here are active and inactive colors you can play with. But yeah, if you want to change any of these things, that's where you find it, right? Short and sweet, nevertheless, hopefully useful. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.